That's right. We're back at you with more DJ's Brew Tube beer fun. And of course, like always, we're about to enjoy a nice session beer, aren't we, Johnny? Sessionable, yes, it is. That's right. We've been brewing all day. We brewed one, two, three, four, five fermented items today wine, Imperial Stout. What else? Martin, um, an IPL, and then some bastardized party mixed. guile mixed beer that was whatever grain we had left. And don't be thinking that party gal beers are just going to be 2 or 3%. No, this one is 7% possibility. possibility. Anyways, enough of that shit. What beer do we have? Commercial product today, Johnny. Uh, we have JavaCast from Victory Brewing Company in Downington, Pennsylvania. It is a Imperial Stout Coffee Bourbon Stout. It is 14.3% alcohol. It. Yeah, you and... Corks just don't get along. 14.3% alcohol. Oh, God, here he goes again. Do you need the corkscrew? Here <laughs> no, not yet. No, that's the wrong kind. Uh, 50 to 100 IBUs. It's Maltar, Pilsner, Moyunic, Chocolate, Caramel, Dark, Oats, Smoke, and Roasted. Hops, Genetic, Cascade. Coffee is Johnny, Bernana, Bern, Berna, Bern, Brenda's, Castra, Rica, Fair Trade. Damn, this thing stuck in here like crazy. You give it a go. There you go. Come on, He-Man. Okay. We got almost good. Get it. Get it. The stunt Trinker knows. Stunt Trinker's got skills. That's why we keep the Stunt Trinker around. Ah, oh. yes. <laughs> Whew. Man, that was tight, though, wasn't it? No. <laughs> Because I already loosened uh, it up. That's it, what it, it was. It was the lube from when you were jacking <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Glug, glug, chug. 14.3% APB hitter. It, it, down, dog. You'll get some in a little bit. The it's original hot like fluffy ooh. one. She, you know what it is? She's feeling slighted out from our last drinking session. Yeah, the... the well, malt, that's a fizzy malt, head. Malt dog went upstairs. <laughs> I mean, that's a fizzy head on that thing. It is, but it's... Okay, fizzy Coca-Cola sort of head, dissipating quite quickly. It's totally pitch black. Yeah. Ain't no light coming through there. Deep, dark mocha chocolate a... head when you swirl it. Ooh, really coating on the inside of the glass. I think... But, but watch it come out. Wow. Yeah, it is awesome glass lacing. Yeah, but it, it does... Like cascades, like slides yeah. down the inside of the glass like slick oil. Wow. Look at that, guys. Total pitch blackness. That's what you want in a stout. That's what it's supposed to be. Also, you want something that smells good. And I'm bourbon. smelling bourbon blasting from here. Let's dive in deeper. Oh, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're throwing your nose in a straight... I, I'll give you some. Start scratching out my arm. I, the, the dog. Anyways, but straight <laughs> bourbon blasting up in your nose. Like you just opened a bourbon bottle and took a snort. I tell you. Very bourbon barrel forward. A lot of chocolate, like deep chocolate. It says it's, you know, coffee. I don't get as much coffee as bourbon and vanilla. As you swirl it, actually, when you get deeper into it, I get some, I'm getting the chocolate. It's coming and up. The coffee. And the coffee. Yeah. There's a bit of tobacco, leather. There's a lot of layers of aroma in it. Barrel char. Are you getting the vanilla this time? You gotta be with the no with the, the giant bourbon blast up in your grill. That's the alcohol. Oh, alcohol! I'm getting like bourbon aroma, spirit barrel aroma. But lots of chocolate, lots of toffee, maybe like a little hit of licorice in there too. Layers and layers of aroma on this. It's a really, <laughs> <laughs> it's you you know it's big too. You can smell the the booze wafting. Oh, yeah. It's and it's is it are you getting more spirit booze or like Spear. yeah. Well, time to dive in. Cheers. Cheers. Session beer time. Yeah. It's not astringent boozy. Yeah. It's big, up in your grill, all day long bourbon. I mean, like, hey, you have a drink of bourbon up in your face. In the middle, the coffee they're talking comes in for me. It doesn't taste of alcohol, like fusel alcohol, fermented alcohol to me, but I'm definitely getting some I'm serious getting warming. warming. You like from like my neck 
down. all the way down to like my top of my rib cage warming. Um, I get the char and the as it lingers, mm -hmm. the roasted. For a fourteen point three percenter, I think the alcohol is pretty well hidden for what it is. But if you don't like bourbon, <clears throat> this may not be a beer for you. I, I mean, it kind of balances out though, doesn't it? Yeah. Hmm. It's not. It's got a medium body to it, like medium full. It's not. I wouldn't call it thin for me. It's not as viscous as a Bourbon County brand stout, but it is kind of almost the same viscosity as like Parabola is, to to me anyway. It's a little lighter, I think. Is it? I, I haven't had that too recently, so I mean, I. It, Either have I, but yeah. it still doesn't. The it it's taste that it advertises on here, Java and Cask mm -hmm. are definitely in here, especially the cask part. I don't know how long they, they barrel age this, they don't say. It could be one of the shorter barrel agings, but it's enough that it's not fusel and boozy. The base beer definitely has enough oomph to take being in the barrels. Excuse me. But it's not real. I'm, I'm not gonna call it like earthy or anything like that. It's got enough sweetness. There's good balance in the beer. I wouldn't say it'd be earthy. No, no. But mm. getting actually some citrus notes in there too, like in the back end, like like coffee type citrus. I get, citric I notes. get on the yeah. I'm feeling that on the roof of the mouth. Mm -hmm. Some of that coffee and, and, and citrus. And. They're saying there's smoked malts in there. I'm maybe that's that I'm smokiness tasting. that we're getting, and it's it's a nice addition actually. It's it's actually a counterbalance to some of the bourbon that's in there, and you get sometimes you get bourbon smoky notes from bourbon as well. Not always, but lots of nice layers of complexity, and the the flavors that you expect in barrel aged imperial stout I think are here, and the complexity you're expecting out of a 14.3 percenter. And the happiest that I am about this is the last one, one, one of these we did that had a freaking pain in the ass cork and it was that mm -hmm. sweet water. Mm -hmm. And that was like drinking straight freaking rubbing alcohol. That was, that was um, annoying. <sighs> yes. Now that you've talked a lot. Oh. Oh, oh. oh is it your turn? <sighs> well, let's see. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to, DJ's going to grade this now. Okay. Uh, Rate beer. Uh, our, our friends over at Rate beer. They gave it a blue horizontal line because they haven't Great. rated it. Uh, the dudes over at Beer Advocate, they gave it a blue horizontal line because mm -hmm. they haven't rated it. And the bastards over at Untapped, they gave it 4.31 caps. caps. Maybe corks yeah. in this case. Um, Don't worry, we'll get you some beer. And her sister's the dogs are like circling. Um, as you said, complex. This is complex. Mm -hmm. This is one of the harder beers that I've had to pull apart. I mean, it's it's a good stout. It's a good bourbon barrel flavor. It's Tad bit beer. boozy. Not not anything that takes away from drinking it. The different mm -hmm. flavors are mild. The the chocolateness, the roastedness, the char, some of that fruit citrus flavors. Are very mild, so it's a not a in-your-face type stout like Bourbon County is. I mean, that's mm -hmm. in-your-face. It's so for you, it seems to be you can find the flavors. Mm -hmm. For me, I guess being a couple of years older, you know, my taste buds are shot. It, I'm having a little harder time. But I can find them in, as long as I enjoy the beer. This is mm -hmm. something that you definitely can enjoy. Um, so, as a bourbon uh, style coffee stout, only really one that I could compare it with that way, that would be BCBS Coffee mm -hmm. as being one of the top top of the lines. And yeah. uh, I, I don't know if this has gotten there quite yet, but I would still... Hit this probably around the 92. It, you know, I also taste that it. it's got cellar potential in it. Yeah. I'm tasting some like dark fruits and like raisin notes and stuff as as Johnny was sitting there talking and giving his opinion on it. And I think as this would set, I mean, it's freaking gigantic. They're saying that this is only good for like to be in like in the bottle for a year. 
No, 2016. Oh, it's a 2016. Yeah, yeah. 20, oh. it, they're giving it a year of shelf life. Really? A, a year on a 14.3 percent yeah. monster. I'm sure this could easily sell her for five years. The coffee mo- notes may die down, but I think there's enough other stuff going on in this beer that would can- would make it sell her awesome. Yeah. But I can taste that in time, dark fruit notes may come up in this beer for sure. But I think it's very well made. I'm going to go, I think, about that same range as Johnny, the A-. I'm going to go like 93. So 92, 93, eh, potato, potato. It's just a really mellow beer. A mellow, yeah. mellow bourbon. That you know smells like you just stuck your head in the bourbon barrel, mm-hmm. but and had just a little bit of booziness right now for me, but nothing that takes away from it. It's really easy drinking. Yeah, some people I think maybe Goose Island, like Bourbon County Coffee or Bourbon County Stout, may be actually a little too intense for them because of its big viscosity and its up in your grill flavors bias base beer. This is actually in some ways easier to drink. I think this is like. What, it, what you need to do is, you, like, when you take a sponge and, mm-hmm. and squeeze out the sponge or the water, you you got to push your tongue up against the roof of your mouth and just kind of mm-hmm. squeeze out some of the flavors that are on your tongue and the roof. And you get really this mix of mellowness of all the... I'm getting the tobacco and the leather mm-hmm. in it as, you know, as it warms up a little bit as well. Joe, sorry, I didn't get any coconut on this. Did you get no, coconut? No, I didn't get coconut. I didn't get any coconut. Sorry, no coconut! Okay. Um, but... Yes, I, what I am digging though a lot is those citrus notes that are in there, yeah. and I suspect they're c- coming from the Chinook hops, yeah. maybe. But this hasn't made you sneeze; it has cascade in it. Mm-hmm. So maybe bourbon barrel aging it gets rid of the allergen for Johnny. So mm-hmm. we're both giving this an A minus. I think it actually has potential to sell her maybe into an A for different reasons. We'll, we'll give you some. You're different. such a needy dog. You're so needy. <laughs> <laughs> the dog is scratching at Johnny's arm for something. Beer, maybe? Hmm. We would never, ever give dogs beer, would we? Not. Are you coming up? Come maybe? On. So, have you had this beer? Obviously, since there's no gray zone great beer and beer advocate, not a lot of folks have. Untapped tends to put up grades quicker because I think that's They're one of bastards. the... Yeah, well, it's one of the waves of the future, I think, because it's instant gratification type reviewing, and you don't have to put a whole bunch of words about something down. You just put how many caps mm-hmm. and maybe a brief yeah. blurb about what you think. Not that you want to, you know, okay, I don't I'm know. drunk and I like this beer. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why they watch us. When they want that deep, in-depth commentary. I mean, our friends at Rape Beer, you know, I figured, you know, this has got to be like 102 since well, it's like I mean, 14.3. And it's you'd think their, their pants would be all creamed out by now. Yeah. But obviously not. So let us know what you think about this beer because I like the quid pro quo. And he likes the back and forth. So give us one of those. Tell us what you think, because that'll make us more smarter and me more beer geeky and maybe you more stun drinky. Maybe. So to the next DJ Brew Tube, you got to remember something really important. What is that, Johnny? Send me more beer. And? Drink locally and globally. think globally. We're going on four years, baby. Come on. You can do it. Do you think, think I will listen to you at all? <laughs> Probably not. Think globally, drink you globally, like my wife. and support the craft beer movement. Second wife. I'm your beer wife, bitch. Yeah, Stop it. That's why I don't listen. So, so I just drink. To the next DJ Brew Tube, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and smash that like button. So until then, we have nothing but a bunch of Java Cast drinking love because this is gonna put my happy face on for sure. What do you have, dog? I don't know. The dog is going to choke on something and die probably. But till then, we have nothing for you but a big ass what? Peace out.